Hello everyone, and welcome to another very, very, very special episode of Transport Roulette. Right in front of me is the very un-Japanese um, red brick building that marks Tokyo Station, the grand entrance of Tokyo Station. The principal station serving Tokyo, the capital city and the largest city, uh, not only in Japan, but the entire world, ladies and gentlemen. And today we're about to play Transport Roulette, the luck-based game that determines which mode of transport we get next and for how long, right in this very beautiful city here. It is currently about 34 degrees, um, which is quite cool for Tokyo in the summer actually. Um, so it's, it's surprisingly pleasant here, but <laughs> that being said, I've, I've been in Japan under the sweltering temperatures for about two weeks now, so I sort of got used to it. <laughs> you guys watching in the UK are probably thinking, 34, Jesus Christ. But never mind, um, let's get started and let's roll our very, very first transport mode to see where we're going and how we're getting there. My program has crashed. Good start. Okay, we have World Private Railway. Now, a bit of a guide to the railway system here in Japan. I forgot to introduce this earlier. Uh, Japan has, or Tokyo has, two different subways. It has the Toei Subway and the Tokyo Metro. They are complete. They are separate things. However, on the transport roulette, we will categorise them as one. Um, also, in Tokyo, we have the JR lines. That is, stands for Japan Railways. They are the, like the state-owned operator in Japan. They're your Deutsche Bahn, your SNCF. And as well as that, we have private railways, um, as the programme has given us. Um, private railways being um, companies owned by private... railway companies owned by private companies, usually companies like banks or real estate companies, which operate services around Tokyo. Similar to the franchising system that we have in the UK, but slightly different and their services are much more reliable. And also we have, of course, buses. Amazingly, we do not have private railways here at Tokyo Station itself. So we will roll again and see what we get. Okay, it's giving us private railway again. Subway! Northbound slash eastbound, one stop. Or we'll be categorising it as the Tokyo Metro Marunouchi line, which is the only subway line which runs here. However, it runs both northbound and eastbound from, from here, so we'll roll a dice. Um, if it's odd, we'll go northbound. If it's even, we'll go eastbound. Even, so we are going eastbound and we're going for one stop. I believe that takes us to Ginza, which is where we're going. We have to first of all find the subway entrance, which I've literally just come from. It's quite a long way away, actually. Tokyo, I've said before, is my favourite city in the world, so I'm very, very, very glad to be here. I feel very, I feel very, very privileged that I get to spend six weeks a year here as well. Welcome to Ginza. As our train departs, let's roll for our next mode of transport. We have scored a challenge. Now, challenges you may remember from my previous episode of Transport Roulette. It's something particularly difficult, which we have to do before the end of the day. Let's find out what that challenge is using random number generator. Okay, we have got challenge number eight, which is to take a picture of a train which goes above 100 kilometers an hour. So to take a picture of a train which goes above 100 kilometers an hour, that's probably easier said than done here in Tokyo, where a lot of the trains are slow commuter shovels. Anyway, let's see what, where we're traveling to next. I'm just rolling down here on the platform in case that we have to come into the gate line again. Subway, northbound slash eastbound, eight stops. But I completely forgot there are two other lines which serve the station. We have the Ginza line and the Hibiya line. So we'll roll a dice. One or two, we stay on the Marunouchi line. Three or four, Ginza line. Five or six, Hibiya line. 
We've rolled a five, so we're going on the Hibia line for eight stops. Let's figure out where that is. Oh wow, this is really fancy. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Look at all these decorations. You would not get this in London or anywhere else in the world for that one. These pretty decorations, pink and black, go together so well. 9 plus 8 is 18, sorry, 9 plus 8 is not 18, 9 plus 8 is 17, so we're going to Nakao Kachimachi. Oh, and we just missed one again. Just still like we missed two trains in a row. station. This is the sort of station you wouldn't really have a reason to go to unless you live or work here. That being said, it is quite busy. Anyway, let's roll for our next mode of transport. So I'll head on for Takenotska via the Togo Skytree line. And our service arrives. Okay, we've got our first bus of the day, bus 79. South Flash westbound, five stops. There are only there, well, there is only one bus line which runs here, and that is bus route number two, which runs between Otsuka Station and Kinchicho Station. Of which we'll probably want to be taking towards Otsuka because that's west, and we're going five stops. The good thing about these buses is because the distance between stations is often very small. Um, it's very, very easy to connect to uh, trains. Okay, watching very, very carefully for our bus. Luckily, the trunk light seems to be red, so we should be ahead of it. seen that we scored exactly the two bus so we are continuing on this two bus westbound for an additional six stops. And that takes us to Kohinate Yonchoma which is where we'll be getting off. Oh, I forgot how hot it was outside. We've just got off our Toto 2 bus at Kohinate Yonchoma. I was just very entertained by the fact that um, our driver had a manual gearbox. It was very fun watching him do all the manual action. A stick shift, it's all you Americans, I don't know why you call it that. It's a very pleasant ride indeed. It's been a while since, in fact, I, I don't think I can recall being on a single bus with a manual gearbox before, so that's very interesting. Anyway, roughly where we are, we are in the northwesterly corner of Tokyo, where we've spent almost half an hour on that bus um, and from here we have two bus routes available and we also have just down there we have the Tokyo Metro Marunouchi line as well so let's roll and see what we get but to remember that we still have to take a picture of a train which goes over 100 kilometers an hour by the end of today I'm feeling like now might be so I just crashed into a plant. That might be a good chance because we have just rolled the subway, the subway north, northbound or eastbound for 13 stops, and that is firmly going to take us to the terminus at Ikebukuro. Again, one of the busiest stations in Tokyo and on the top 10 busiest in the world. To Tokyo Metro Myogadan Station on the Marunouchi Line, we're going to be heading northbound towards Ikebukuro. See if we can at all get a picture of any train which which can go above 100 kilometers an hour. I am hopeful because I know of certainly one line which passes through if I book around it does. Ok, 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ikebukuro. As I, as I mentioned, one of the busiest stations in Tokyo and the world. Playing for the JR line um, to try and catch a picture of our 100 km an hour plus train. The station is a complete maze, it's got like 41 exits. Back and two, I think we want, there is a train. It goes over 100 km an hour, coming very, very, very shortly. Tell you what, this would be a brilliant station for spotting. It's very open, there are no platform gates, so it's not annoying. Trains are riding left, right, and centre. Here comes our train, this is an E233 series. A nice turn there as well. Very, very, very long trains. There we go, platform E233. Capable of maximum speed of 120 kilometers an hour. And the last thing is we need to take a picture. It's easier said than done. Pitch taken. Challenge completed. Anyway, let's find somewhere quieter to stand and see what mode we're rolling next. This is exciting. Private railway, southbound slash westbound, 13 stops. There are a lot of private railways here. There are there's a Toby line and there is a Sabu line. Both are run by private companies. Fine. Um Odd for, odd for Tobu, even for Seibu. I have to set my boundaries very carefully as to what Tokyo actually is. Seibu. We'll get the first train that I can see. 1718 Seibu Kujo Mai. Can we make that? I need to use my super card here. It's a very classic train. It's going to be our train. We'll be taking 13 stops. I do not know this part of Tokyo at all. So I've got a train passing. Okay, this train next to us is not supposed to stop here, and there's a very good reason for that. Um, the conductor's just told us that there has been reports of a power cut on this railway line, meaning that trains are unable to move any further. So all trains are being held until later news arrives. Okay, if we're held here for more than another 10 minutes, then I think we'll get off and bail. I've already seen a few people just get off and bail. Okay, well it's been 10 minutes. Off we go. Doesn't look like anything is going anywhere anytime soon. The power failures occur between Takoraza and Iromashi, um, which has led to a failure of the signalling system. But the disadvantage is that we're stuck in the middle of western Tokyo as the sun is setting. I've got absolutely no idea where I am and no idea how to get back into central Tokyo, or out for that matter. I need to find a way back into city centre. The one way that city map was suggesting is walking 18 minutes to um, Senkawa station on the Fukutoshin line. It's quite a long walk, 18 minutes. Actually 18 minutes isn't too bad, but when it's 34 degrees outside, it's gonna, it's not gonna be very nice. It looks like it's about to rain as well, but I might have what caused the power cut. 
um, further west, so I hope it's not coming this way. If it does, we're going to have a little bit of a problem, aren't we? Where is this? Higashi Nagasaki. In the meantime, we get to have a look around the sort of quiet residential parts of Tokyo that no tourists get to see. This is part of why I love doing transport roulette. I'd never have I've ne never have any reason to come anywhere near here. No one would. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, local residents. <laughs> but unless you live or work here, this is the sort of place that you don't really come. I love, it. I love exploring these parts. Well, I didn't realise was that Tokyo gets super residential really quickly. We're barely 10 minutes out of Ikebukuro, supposedly one of the busiest stations in the world. I have not got the faintest clue where I am at all. If I did not have a map, I would be lost. Just had a look on um, Seibu Railway's website and they said that the situation is expected to continue until 1800. It is still not 1800, we've really made it to Senkawa Station. Yeah, they're even doing the announcements in the lift, saying there's issues with the, with the trains. Anyway, um, from here, actually I need to be, I've got dinner at my hotel for 6.30, so um, we'll go take a book and then head back to our hotel from there, I think. Yeah, through that reason for the power outage, it's a lightning strike. Lightning struck one of the critical train systems. What is the chance of that happening? This is another very old train here, isn't it? Very old and very busy. So our train arrives. I guess we have time for one more round here before we continue on. Let's roll our Python, our cursed, our very, very, very cursed Python program, which will tell us our next mode of transport. We have JR here, we have Marinochi line, and we have Katoshin line as well. Okay, please don't give us something that's going to have a power failure due to lightning again. Subway, southbound slash westbound, five stops, that's what we like. 1, 2 for your actual line, 3, 4 Marinochi line, 5, 6 for Toshin line, and we're going southbound or westbound. Okay, both lines go southbound from here. Marinochi line conveniently taking me back in the direction of my hotel, which is nice. If it takes me right back to my hotel, that'd be very funny. Um, and we are going 5 stops, so that's M20, that is Ochanomizu. Our train, which will be taking 5 stops to Ochanomizu. I like there's a little timer there counting down how long the train has been in the station. It's been in the station for two minutes and that's already about to go out again. <laughs> it's just the contrast whenever you get off the train and you're just blasted by all the heat. We've got this lovely air-conditioned carriage and then coming out in just into like 34 degrees heat. It's really quite contrasting, it's really not very nice at all. We can't come to Channel Mizu and not come for the and not get the iconic Tokyo Railway view outside. You see what I mean. That's the sun is setting. Tokyo always looks good at sunset. It's right here. some very pretty pictures of Oshana Mizu at night taken on my proper camera. And with that, as the sun has now set and lovely pictures are quiet, that concludes Transport Roulette in the world's largest city. We got to see a bit of everything. We saw the bus, we saw the subway, we saw the JR. We saw the private railways as well of Seibu, although I don't think we really did them justice today. 
well, um, when they had a lightning strike on their network, there's not very much that they can do about that, to be honest. Just a bit of bad luck. That program is cursed. That program is really cursed. Anyway, I really do hope you've enjoyed seeing me wandering around Tokyo. If you did, then do click the like button down below and do consider subscribing if you enjoy my content. I have plenty, plenty of content recorded from right here in Tokyo. So if you are interested in this, then do feel free to have a look at all of those. Um, that will be up on my channel very very shortly if they aren't already anyway I'll see you all next time thank you all very very much for watching goodbye from Ochan Music.